Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use the uh, data referencing feature, which basically means that you know, if, you, if in the conversation, if the user has given some input on some gambit and you want to refer to that user input that the user has given uh, later in the conversation, um, how you can do that. So basically, if the user has given their name or their email or their phone number and you want to show that number uh, or maybe refer to the person, refer to the user with their name, uh, how can you can do that? So let's just uh, start with this empty bot. Uh, we'll make the first gambit. In the first gambit, uh, let me just ask the user for their name. So let's, I'll just call this gambit name and let's ask what is your name. So this is just an example. Obviously, you don't want to ask this question right away, but this is just for example purpose and just call this full name. Let's just save it. And uh, in the next gambit, let's say you want to refer to the user with their name. So how would you go about doing that? Uh, so let's say in the next one, you are asking for the email and you want to ask, you know, hi, uh, name, let's say name, uh, name of the person. In the next bubble, it's great to meet you. So now name here needs to be replaced with the, with the uh, name of the person actually, you know, who, name of the person which he has given in the previous gambit. So to do that, what you want to do is, you want to do this. You want to put double braces. Braces means uh, it's like curly braces, curly brackets. So it's the same as the uh, uh, square bracket, but with the shift. So this is the curly braces. You have to put it two of them and close them with the two of them. And the bit of that uh, in the uh, in between them, you have to put URSP dot the name of the gambit on which you are no you want to refer to the uh, you want to refer to the gambit name on which you are getting the input. So we call that previous gambit name. So we just gonna call it name. If you called it name full name, let's say, so you would have called no, you have, uh, you have to put it like this. So that is the name of the gambit. So we have just just called it name. So let us keep it name. And URSP here means it's a data scope for user response. So that just means that you know, we, are, we, are, uh, we want the user response coming on that gambit. So we just want to do that. You can also bold it if you want to highlight it. Let's just save it. <coughs> Deploy. Just test it out. So it's asking for my name. I give my full name here. See, the name is coming. If I just put something else. I'll get this. So that is how you refer to the name. Similarly, you can refer to email later on in the conversation. Uh, one thing to notice that when you're referring to a gambit, make sure that the gambit value is already fulfilled. So if I, if I refer to this uh, name thing, this thing, in this gambit itself, it won't be here because it's not populated yet. No, because the user has not given the response up till now. So you cannot do that. Just make sure that no, you are referring to the gambit which has already been uh, populated.